Kyle, welcome back to my channel and in this clip I saw some blue striped chubs and I figured I'd take a drop on them and try to get them and you see them in the background coming in and I'm already like oh sweet they're coming in and I get a shot on them and when I look back they just swim right past me and I don't end up not getting a shot. And in this clip, the same area just before the blue striped tub clip, and I saw some oceanic poilus, and I figured right off the back, smaller ones, but sashimi grade. So decided to take one here, and I get a nice stone shot. Now I'm guaranteed bringing home sashimi. In this clip, this spot, I normally like to take a drop as my first drop of the day when I'm diving this spot and it's about 50 ish feet give or take a few feet and why I take a practice drop here is it allows me to gauge how my breath holds are feeling how I'm feeling and how just my dives are going in general and after this drop I usually plan out how I'm gonna go about my dive so it's more of a gauge type of dive so after a few hours we worked our way to the ledge dove the ledge a bit and as i creep up to the ledge here i took a drop here because i saw a uku from the top and you see a nice moon in the background but there the uku shows up start grunting and dusting and you just head straight back for the deep luckily for me this yellow spot was around and he's out of the frame but nice sashimi grade yellow spot I got a gut shot on him, but after play, playing him carefully, got him secured and bringing home yellow spot sashimi, which many will say is the best sashimi, I think. Here you see we're chumming and in a few clips you'll see why we're chumming this spot. So this is right after that yellow spot I shot and I took a drop here in hopes that the uku was still around but as soon as I get here I realize he's not. Fortunately enough I was greeted by this cool guy to my left right here. Nice little kumu. I thought he was borderline illegal. Some might say he was he was legal, but I figured leave him alone and hopefully he goes to be a nice stud. Alright, so this is the clip I've been wanting to show you guys. Uh, this is why I we were chumming in that clip earlier. I saw some yellow spots right on that ledge, so I threw a spoon in the hopes that they would be attracted to the spoon. But I was not ready for what was going to be attracted for this to the spoon, which was a pair of owners. And um, so I'm doing my breathe up right here, not knowing that owners are making a beeline from the depths up to my spoon. So right here, I spot them, take a quick drop, and I was out of range. Took a shot, Hail Mary shot, and missed. And I'm like panicking at this mo moment. And as you see, I'm trying to show my partners that there's owners. And so I flash my gloves, I make some grunts in hopes to keep them nearby. And one eventually makes his way to my buddy Dexter, which he shot. But as soon as that owner took off, it pulled the shaft right through him. And that, that is my shadow dream. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I swear I'm gonna shoot my own of this year. So mark my words, I will. But like it, please leave a like. And see you in the next one. God damn it! You want Fuck! <laughs>